I just find so much beauty in nature. I think that's why I love traveling and exploring new locations because I'm just so grateful to get to see all these amazing places and things. I mean, and I don't claim to be good at photography or anything like that, but I just, I, I enjoy taking a camera with me and all these trips that I go on. And I try and take as many photos as I can because it's just like, I just want to be able to take a picture and be able to go home and look at that picture and feel the same way that I did when I was actually standing there. And of course, I've never been able to do that because it's like, after all these photos I've taken, I'm slowly beginning to realize that photos can only reflect an image, it can't capture an emotion. Growing up, you know, I heard all these things about God and I would, I would read all these Bible stories and I would hear all these other people talking about Jesus and Christianity and stuff. And through all these things, I kind of created an image and an idea in my head of, of who God really was. And none of it was from personal experience or anything like that. I would just let these stories and these things that I grew up hearing kind of paint this picture of who God really was to me. Until this one day, out of my desperation, I wholeheartedly cried out to God and I said, God, if you're real, I need you. And what's crazy was God actually showed up and I experienced this life-changing moment with, with my Creator. And, and it was like my whole life up until this point, I was looking at God through a picture. Because when I experienced God for the first time, I realized that my shallow perception of my Creator couldn't even begin to break the surface of His greatness. And it's like, I don't want to just look back at these pictures and, and see these things and places, but I truly enjoy actually being there and experiencing it. And now knowing that I'm not just looking at God through a photograph, but I'm actually in an intimate relationship with my Heavenly Father, my life now has more purpose and meaning. Because it's hard to have hope when you don't know the one who gives hope. And it's hard to have peace when you can't call on the one who calms the storms. And it's hard to have joy when you don't know why on earth you were created. And it's hard to really show and know love if you don't know the one who loved you first.